What about a horizontal shift? Well, if we take a look at the a horizontal shift, well, if I take a look at my graph of y equals x squared, and I can think of the easiest point to keep track of is my horizontal my horizontal tangent there. It gives me this zero right here. Well, if I shift the graph, notice that a horizontal shift doesn't actually change the shape of the graph. It does, so the, all the slopes are all the same, except that at this point here, now that slope's been shifted over. So what ends up happening is I get a shift down here. Now it's the exact same function, but that we just have to accommodate that shift. We have to just keep track of that shift. So if I have a horizontal shift in my original function, as long as I keep track of that horizontal shift, this minus 3 in the original function, just have to keep that track of that minus 3 in the derivative function, and that will allow us to accommodate that horizontal shift. The horizontal shift doesn't change the shape, so it doesn't affect the actual differentiation, but we do, do have to keep track of that in our derivative. So in general then, the horizontal translation does not affect the derivative, we just have to keep track of it. So here is an example, y equals 2 tan x minus pi. So if I want to differentiate this, the 2 on the outside has no effect on the derivative. I differentiate the tan, that becomes secant squared. And if there's a horizontal shift, as long as I just keep that horizontal shift, I don't need to do anything else. I know that the derivative is going to have the same function, secant squared, but the, the derivatives, the slopes are going to be different by a shift of minus, or in this case, plus pi.